Hey guys, welcome back. So in the video before this, we mixed up, well the video, the first video we mixed up the white to see if the laundry detergent, which is blue over here, would discolor the white and it didn't. Then we did a video mixing our primary colors, blue, yellow, and red with our laundry detergent. And now we're going to do a pour. But we're going to do something that I haven't done yet with the laundry detergent. And that is an open cup pour. That's where you take a cup and you cut out the bottom. And you put a color down. In this case, we're going to do white. Then you set the cup on top of it. And you pour the colors in and slowly let them seep out. Um, normally you do it at a slight slant. So I'm going to need to put something up under... Here, I'll probably just add a second set of tripods on top of it to make it a little taller on this side. There we go. Slight slant. We're good to go. Um, so I'm going to put a layer of white down. I'm going to pour it all just yet. We'll wait and see if I need all of it. Um... I would do this off camera, but I feel like you guys want to see every step I take to really get a feel for what I'm doing. Um, and to know that I'm not adding anything extra or anything like that. So, with that being said, I try to keep it all transparent for you guys. And that way if something fails, you guys get to see the fill. And if something really works, you guys get to see exactly what I do to make it work. So, I'm going to push this over just a little and pull it. The same thing here. I had a few bald spots I needed to cover up. Okay, I'll set that to the side and I'll wash it later. Then I'm going to set my cup here because this is the side that's a little higher. So it'll slant that way. And I want to put a little bit of the white in the base of the cup just so that it helps the other colors flow a little. And then we're just gonna have fun with the colors. So we're gonna add some red. And as you can see, the cup's already moving. You can hold the cup in place um, until you're ready for it to move, whatever you need to do, which is what I'm gonna have to do for a minute. So I get at least a little bit of each color in here. And then I can let it slowly go. And then add more colors as I want. Okay, so now I'm just going to hold this back corner of the cup and just let it slowly flow out. As it will. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit for you guys. And I'm going to tilt it that way a little so it'll run that way. Excuse Bill snoring and noises. I'm going to set the cup back down. I'm going to add some more blue. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to top it off. So I'm going to cover all of it, but it's going to help a little. And I'm just going to let it seep out, making sure that there's still some white on top at all times. And then when you get close to the bottom, if you pull it like this, that white will cover up those other colors and do. And now I'm going to torch. Before we tilt. Also before we tilt, I'm going to zoom back out. Make sure it's focused. And then we're going to tilt. And again, this is more fluid than normal, so you have to tilt a little slower to get the wanted results. I'm going to turn it because I'm going to bring it this way. And 
and then I'm going to tilt it this way to get rid of this bottom corner. I see some purples coming through. Um, I see some different shades of green and some yellow. I'm going to tilt it that way just a little just to remove some excess paint and then I'm going to set it back up here. Make sure all the corners are covered. There's a really gorgeous purple going on up here. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay, and now I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick. Just so you can see. Look at those purples on my fingers. Those are gorgeous. I don't even know if you can see how gorgeous they are. But they really are. I have pinks and purples and all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to torch it one more time just to make sure there's no bubbles because I do see quite a few down here. I still have colors on my hands. They're pretty. Okay, so let's torch these air bubbles. It's like every time you blow some out, more pop up. I think it's the detergent, but I'm trying to just hit them and then give it a second to <laughs> for the rest of them to pop. Okay, so there we are, and then we'll come back soon. I'll give it maybe 10 minutes to see if it's going to move anymore, and then we'll come back in part two to see the close-up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really love this. Wait till you see some of these really well-defined cells and just see how it turns out. So I'm excited. Let me know what you think and just wait for part two.